Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the second grade concept of addition and subtraction, specifically how we can represent addition and subtraction word problems, and we'll do it in 5 minutes or less. So we have a word problem on the screen. We see that Julio had 124 books, some were picture books, and 77 were chapter books. So you see, we're not really quite sure how many picture book books there are. That's the question we're trying to solve. So let's see if we can figure out how we can represent this in an addition sentence and maybe with some pictures and solve the answer. So Julio had 124 books. I'm going to put that. That's my total. And he knows that 77 are chapter books and the rest are picture books. So I'm just going to put this box. This box means it's blank. We don't know. So that's going to be my picture books. If I add that to my 77, that's going to give me my total of 124. So this is an unknown quantity. Let's just put a question mark there. We're not really quite sure how many picture book books there are. One way I could represent this if I wanted to make a strip diagram. So I could use a part part whole because I know that I have 124 books altogether. That's my total or my whole. And I know that I've got, I'll just put a question mark for my picture books and the rest are 77. So that's how I know that my question mark plus my 77 make 124. Well, there's a few different ways that we can solve this problem. One thing that we can do is we can use the relationship between addition and subtraction to figure out a way that we can solve this problem. You notice how the 124, the whole, is on the left side of the equation. That looks a little bit strange, so I'm going to do this. I'm just going to write my unknown plus my 77 equals 124. You can always move the equal sign on either side of the equation. It's going to keep everything the same. Well, fact families means that I can write this as another addition sentence if I just flip the two add-ins. And that could work. I'm going to use this in just a moment. But we could also write two subtraction sentences. So 124, and then we're going to minus two of our terms. 124 minus our unknown is 77. Doesn't help me because I'm not really sure uh, what that number is. I don't know my facts big enough, but I can do this. 124 minus 77. These are all related fact family terms. That's why fact families are so important. Because look, I can do 124 minus 77. I could do that right here. 124. Let's make that a 4 minus 77. I'm going to need to regroup twice. 4 minus 7. Well, I can't do that, so let's take away from these uh, two 10s. I'm going to leave a 10. I'm going to take a 10, break up. And so my 4 becomes a 14. So 14 minus 7, well, that's 7. And now I've got uh, 1 minus 7. Can't do that, so break up the 100 and make that a 10. So now I've got 11 minus 7, and that's going to be 47. So it looks like my answer is 47. Let's see if I can solve that with adding up. So what we could do is we could start with our 77. And we can add up until we get to 124. So what I could do is I can, let's just use a number line. And let's just make some hops. So I'm just going to make hops of 10. So I'm going to put 87, and I'm going to add what I'm doing. I'm just going to make hops of 10. So I'm adding up until I get to where I can't do any more 10s. So I'm going to add another 10. Ooh, that's 9, so that's going to be 10. So it's 107. That was kind of a tricky one. And I can add another hop of 10, so that's going to be 117. But you know what? If I add another hop of 10, that's going to be 127, and that's too big. I need to get to 124. So now I'm going to take little tiny hops. And I'm going to say 117, 118, 119, 120, 121, 122, 123, 124. So I had 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 hops. So that's 7. So 10, 20, 30, 40, plus the 7. And guess what I've got? 47. So you can use uh, the fact families to find a related subtraction sentence, or you can use hops, a number line, and you can just kind of hop up by tens and then ones to add up to the number that you're looking for. 